The Birmingham Balti, invented in the city in the 1970s and hugely popular in the 80s and 90s, the dish has become well known all over the world. The 30 restaurants that served the curry then became famous for the triangle shape in which they were located, and the Balti Triangle was born. But despite the early boom, today only four of the original restaurants remain. One of those is Shababs, which prides itself on being the home of the Birmingham Balti. Owner Zaf Hussein says even though restaurants have been lost, he's proud of the Balti legacy. I just feel so proud, you know, serving the Balti the right way. Uh, you know, someone who might be visiting from, you know, overseas or whatever else, and they've never had, never sampled a Balti before. And we are here at Shababs showcasing the Balti and showcasing Birmingham. You know, I'm gutted to see uh, a lot of Balti houses alongside us have clo closed down. Uh, but you can't take away the fact, you can't take away the history that this is still the Balti Triangle. Uh, and I feel quite proud to sort of take that legacy forward. But what makes a Balti a Balti? Zaf gave GB News a look into the kitchen to show us how it's done. So this is what a proper Balti bowl is. Uh, thin pressed, carbon steel, uh, actually manufactured in Birmingham as well. So, turn the heat up. A bit of veg oil, in goes some onions, green pepper, tomato, and a chili for good luck. Unlike other curries, the dish is traditionally served with a naan, not rice, and the proof of the balti is in the eating. Well, it's certainly passed the taste test, but what is the future of the balti? Andy Munro is the secretary of the Association for the Protection of the Authentic Balti. He says despite changes in eating habits in the area, the dish remains a firm favourite for people visiting Birmingham. In this area, there's a lot of burger places have opened up dessert parlours. A lot of young people want a burger because like, when you're at home, you want something different to what your parents serve up. But as I wanted something different to the lamb chops and boiled potatoes my parents served up, hence my love for curries. The Balti Triangle, I think, was in the, um, the Rough Guide's top 40 things to do before you die. I think we're about equal with the pyramids, so say no more on that. So, yeah, you know, I, I, it's an important thing for Birmingham, but it's only important if we safeguard the authentic restaurants. Despite the Balti Triangle not being quite as Balti as before, this staple Birmingham dish isn't going anywhere just yet. Jack Carson, GB News.